Welcome back to another episode of Talking to Missy and Ready. And today, what we're talking about is we're talking about overthinking. Are you an overthinker? I'm an overthinker for sure. Am I an overthinker? You do overthink a lot of things. You, you do. Think so? Yeah, I, I know so. Like you most definitely overthink. Like, see, the thing Go is, what? Go ahead. The thing is about overthinking is that. Before you do anything, you got to think about it and then process the whole thing. You do that a lot. You overthink like a lot of like everything. Okay, but so let's let's break it down in parts. All right, go ahead. So let's first say what exactly you just explained what overthinking is. Okay. But what exactly is overthinking? Like you want an example or like what? Yeah. Okay, so overthinking is like, for example, if let's <coughs> say that you wanted to go to the store, right? Mm -hmm. And then you will overthink the whole thing. You buy, okay, if I go to the store, what am I going to buy when I'm at the store? Uh, how much money I'm going to spend when I'm at the store? Why am I even going to the store? And after I even do that, what's going to be the point of that all? Oh, like, you know, I'm going to come home, I'm going to have it, I'm going to eat it, and then what? Like, you know, you overthink oh. the whole process before you even did it. And it kind of makes you not even want to do it in the first place. I see. Okay. Yeah. I was like, okay, if you think that's just planning. Yeah, that's great. You know, yeah. planning and being proficient when you go to the store. Yeah, no. So you can have a plan of what you're going to do so you don't be in there all day. No, you think of every case scenario. Like, <laughs> if I go to the store, I'm not fully dressed. You know, what if somebody sees me that I don't know? Oh, okay. And then what if they go tell somebody or put me on Instagram, they post a picture of me? Like, you really thinking of case scenarios. Uh, it's possibilities, yes. But at the same time, you know, you're... You're making them real. Yeah, more yeah. real than they are in your brain. You're thinking of things that could happen, but at the same time, you're slowing yourself from you're slowing yourself down from even doing it in the first place. Like if you just kind of planned it out and went and did it, and then you know you can figure everything out. Like I'm not saying planning is a bad thing. It's kind of hard to say because I'm a planner. I love to plan everything out. Yeah, but and then overthinking the whole plan. You don't. You end up not wanting to do it. I know this is this is from experience. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, let's say that. Let's make a better example. Let's say that if we're going to vac vacation, right? And then we be like, okay. We're, at first, it starts off as a plan. Like, oh, um, what if my boss tells me that he don't gives me the day off? You know? And then what if you know we get stranded uh, uh, out of the country? And then what if you know something happens when I'm out the country? You're like you. You're literally overthinking everything. You know what I mean? You know what I'm talking about? You're mm -hmm. you're overthinking it. You're not just thinking. You're overthinking. So let's throw out uh, good scenarios of when you should probably overthink versus when you're overthinking just because you just have high anxiety. Okay. Like, so you want to throw one out? I got one already. Go ahead. Okay. I think that budgeting is uh, called for when it's for, to overthink budgeting. Like, you know oh, what I mean? Budgeting. So let's say that, you know, you're thinking about, like, uh, how you're going to pay your bills and your rent and still go out and do what you want to do. So you're overthinking every case scenario. Like, what if I, you know, buy this new pair of shoes and then, you know, uh, my light bill is a couple hundred dollars higher than it is last month. And then now, you know, I'm behind because I can't afford my light bill because I bought these shoes. You're like, you're overthinking that. But I think that it's a good good reason to overthink something like that because, you know, that could happen. You know what I mean? And yeah. then now... It's repercussions from the uh, from what you just done, what you just spend your money on. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I think that's a good case scenario to overthink. Got you. Um, I just think safety is a good cause for overthinking. Safety? Yeah. You go above and beyond <laughs> with it, though. You know what I mean? How do you go above and beyond you go, with safety? Uh, I know it sounds weird. I know. I know. Like, Missy Shore for sure goes above and beyond. Like, tell us. You know, I've been talking this whole time. Come on, tell us something. No, like, I'm, tell me, you're, how, you're how do you go you over beyond in safety? First, give me a case scenario, and I'll tell you how you would go above and beyond with it. Like, uh, safety as far as is when I get in the car, okay. I lock the doors. Yeah. Like, you know, when I'm walking to my car, I'm always walking. With your keys in your With hand. my keys in my hand to yeah. make sure that my She's surroundings. She's going to swing them on it. I'm always checking my surroundings all the time. That's that's not, that's, I'm always, that's good. I'm always watching You're paranoid. The that's, person. that's different. No, I don't think that's paranoid. I just think, I mean, if it's overthinking, because I always no, think, like, you know, I can't let my guard down, because the, mo mo the moment I let my guard down, something might happen. <clears throat> no, 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 no. I don't I don't think that that's... Okay, so let's make that... I said I was going to make your example to a, 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 a over-the-top over example. Okay, so you do that, right? 
But and then when you're on the road and stuff like that, you're 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 so worried about everything else as you should be, as you should be. But you let that like mess up your enjoyment of the ride. Like you know what I mean? Like you like okay, you know what if this person jumps in the middle of the road? What if this car spins out right now? Like you know what I mean? Like she's she stays. What if these tires just decide yeah, they want to pop? Yeah, that, she even knows better. <laughs> yeah. What if what if I'm driving and my tire falls off the car while I'm driving? You know what if the alternator falls off right now? Like you know like like you know what I mean? What if the transmission goes out while I'm driving uh 50 miles per hour? Then what? What if my brakes go out? And, you know, she literally, she, and then she, and then she has some type of logical explanation. Like, this is all mechanical. This is human made. Exactly. So, so you, you have know, to be aware could, of that. Stuff, type stuff could happen. And stuff like that. And she always say, I'm not worried about you driving. I'm worried about everybody else driving. And I'm like, yeah, but it's still the same results. You know, you still look at me crazy when I'm driving. You know what I mean? Yeah, it depends on how you're driving. Yeah. No, 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 no. It's it not does. depending on how I'm driving. <clears throat> Dang. Okay, but uh, uh, um, it's not dependent on how I'm driving, old lady voice. Like, it's not dependent <laughs> on that. It's dependent on, you, you literally, like, when I'm driving like a grandma, I kid you not, this just happened recently. Like, you know, I was driving the speed limit, you know what I mean? And then she's, she's like, she's like, like, looking at me and stuff, like, you know what I mean? I can look at you while you drive. And then she got me into this tactic because, you know, how people, when they're driving, they're like, yeah, you know how you doing? And right now I'm looking at Missy Shore for all you podcasters out there. Like, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, and why, why they're driving, you know? And then they, they want to look and give eye contact while they're driving, you know what I mean? She will stop talking to you while you do that. Like, you know, if I'm talking to her <laughs> and I look at her while I'm talking, like, you know, just a glance, not like a steady stare, fast and furious, looking like I'm cool, just looking at her the whole time. Not that way. But literally, if I just glance at her, glance back at the road, she will stop talking. She will literally stop talking to me. <laughs> yeah, because you're supposed to be paying attention to the road. Yeah. Not to me. That's, that's like a slight, like, that's like, there has to be like a second, milli, a couple milliseconds that I'm just literally bloop, bloop, back to the road. You know what I mean? Like, I know a lot could happen. Missy Shore, like, I know it sounds weird. It sounds like I'm in the wrong right now. Like, okay, Missy Shore cares about her safety. Yeah, I get it. But at the same time, she's like. Like, she's, like, overthinking it. Like, she's, like, overthinking the whole thing. Like, I care about this woman's safety, too. I'm not going to do anything intentionally to put her in danger. Exactly. I'm not worried about intentional danger. I'm worried about the unintentional danger. Yeah. Like, you know. <laughs> and I always That's the part her, that nobody ever thinks about. Like, you have to think about stuff like I that. I tell her stuff happens. You know what I mean? Stuff happens, and it's nothing you can do about it. I understand that. But at least you can make yourself aware that it may it, it's possible that it could happen. Right now, while we're doing this podcast, this roof can fall in on us. It uh, definitely an airplane can. can fall out the sky. It definitely can. You know what I mean? And I think about that stuff. Like, stuff can happen. So A car should, can drive so, right through this house. So should you not think about... Is that... So you not think for about that? You shouldn't spend the amount of time thinking about that. That's what like I'm that. saying. You're overthinking things. Like I, I, I think that that's fine to do. Like I think that that's fine to do to be aware of it. To be aware, but you literally let that dictate your life. That's a totally, totally different thing. Totally different. So overthinking is bad when it dictates your life. So that's, that was that's the next thing. thing that I was okay. Going to Go ahead. I've been talking to. this whole time. You're not really so, talking. Um, you do a lot of talking. I do. I like talking. Yeah, you really, especially do. to you. Okay. And y'all too. Well, yeah. So overthinking is a could be a bad thing if you allow it to dictate your life. That's one thing. Overthinking can be bad for multiple things, in my opinion. What? What else? I mean, I just summed it up. I think. Oh, for that. If you let it dictate your life, yeah, you can probably sum up every example I will give with that type of thing. Yeah. yeah. Like if, when you let it dictate your life, yeah, yeah, for sure. But and at the same time, it's not technically a bad thing to overthink. It's not technically a bad thing to uh, uh, be aware and uh, um, uh, notice things. You know, hyper awareness is not a bad thing. Well, I'm a hyper awareness person. Yeah, but and at the same time, you really let it like slow you down from living. You know what I mean? Like these years that we have on this world is all we have. At least that's what I believe. You know, everybody have their own beliefs, but. These years is all we have. Like, you know, something can happen to me right now. And if you don't experience life with me right now, you could you could miss the only the only uh, the only uh, um, time you have to do that ex experience. 
Yeah, you can't get time back. Opportunity, that's the word I was looking for. Oh, well, I mean, sometimes the world make you have to overthink. I feel like, I don't feel like personally, I don't personally feel like there's nothing wrong with being an overthinker. I think that your life is more balanced that way. Oh, no, I disagree. I, yeah, I was agreeing with you. I think that you. it's more balanced. Just because you, you think about the beef, the the afters and the before. So you think about before and after. I think you just think about after. Like, I don't know if you actually think about before. <laughs> uh, yeah, see, I find myself like uh, I overthink things all the way till it being done to what afterwards. That's how I, I overthink like, okay, I want to become a race car driver, right? I will overthink this whole career choice. Yeah, I was like, okay, so I become a race car driver. Um, I I uh, win some races and some championships. I whatever. I become this notorious person, race car driver. And then what? Then what? Okay, I, I got money. I got this. I got that. But then what? You know what? What? What after that? Like I overthink to that capacity. Like I overthink to the capacity of what's the point of even doing it? Like I, I, I have a, such a great imagination and uh, um, foresight, in my opinion, that I can see it actually happening. And then I worry about like, okay, then what? That makes me not want to do it no more. Like, you know, I literally did it in my well, you head. You should just do it. And then the physical out- outcome might not be what your imagination almost, outcome almost is. Almost definitely. I agree. <laughs> it, it, it's most, it's a lot of outcomes. You know, obviously my outcome isn't going to happen uh, um, 100% the way that I foreseen it or whatever is like, you know, I'm not, I can't predict the future. Of course, of course, you know, it's a lot of things and variables that could happen, but, and at the same time, still the end result, like pretty much happens. Like, you know, I, I don't really think out the scope of my reality. You know what I mean? I give you an example. Like, um, when I was a kid, I always wanted a Corvette, right? I always wanted one and stuff. You know what I mean? And then when I got older, I learned that that's like the most affordable, a high end sports car, not a supercar, a sports car, right? Is 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 uh up there with supercars in like um um in uh um quality and well now the new ones, uh well quality and um uh, performance. But at the same time, I was like, you know, you didn't see me looking at Lamborghinis or Ferraris and stuff like that, you know? The reason why is because they're out the scope of my reach right now. So I pretty much made a, p- a plan to actually get the vehicle. And I did it. But and then now sometimes I, I look at the vehicle n- not to be, like, ungrateful with what I have. But now I'm like, now what? You know what I mean? Like, now what? Like, you know, okay, where to drive, what to do. You know what I mean? Like, I literally think that. You know, I can, I can drive it to the grocery store. I can take it to the track. But and then, you know, I overthink the whole case scenario of, like, what I'm going to do now. You know, I got it. I'm grateful. I appreciate it. I really do. I wouldn't want, I wouldn't want not to have it. But then at the same time, I'm like, now nah, what? You know what I mean? That's how mm-hmm. I overthink. I get it. But you overthink in a way of, like, the possibilities is against you. Like, you you, you think, like, okay, so I'm going to spend all this money on this car, and then now my house burns down, and now I have no money, and I have no car. I'm not buying the car. That's how you think. Like, you literally think like that. Yeah, because I put my priorities first, and then my fun Oh, turn next. this around. <laughs> that's no, why no but i get you though the you whole point of overthinking yeah so then it causes you to not do something you, you so if you say if you feel like oh my bill might be an extra five dollars this month i can't get them shoes you know like because you think your bill gonna be an extra five dollars it's gonna cut in so then you just rather not just get the shoes and just pay your bill that's right. Yes, got it. And and then and then the bill is actually under. So you just overpaid your bill, which is never a bad thing, by the way. And but and at the same time, you do the same thing the next month. Like, okay, so it didn't happen last month, but what if it happens this month? And you still doesn't you still don't buy the shoes, you know what I mean? Like I learned something from you when we was younger. Like you used to tell me that pretty much uh we're gonna make a way with the circumstances that we're in. You know what I mean? So mm-hmm. pretty much when we was living in a smaller town in a smaller house and everything like that, we only made enough to kind of take care of that. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. We couldn't even see the positions that we're in right now be impossible. You know what I mean? But the position that we're in right now, we're taking care of it just as well as we used to take care of the position we used to be in. Right. So what if I always worried about, 
no, there's no way. I would still be in that smaller house in, in the position that we used to be in. I wouldn't never, I wouldn't never uh, advance or level up because of I was always worried about what if something else happened. I, I'm going to stay here because this is what I know that we could take care of. You know what I mean? I would never advance. Yes. No, no, no. But you, you <laughs> No, you I agree that. with you. I agree with you. Yeah, that that is me. Yeah, and that's what I also okay, well, I know I'm an overthinker. Uh huh. So would you consider my way an overthinking way? Yeah. Because uh, you know, I think Your overthinking way is like a bubble. Uh, explain. Like it's like a bubble. It's like like it's just in there. Like it's just in your head. In mm. your imagination, it's not really a reality for me, to me, okay. personally. So it's like it keeps you in a bubble. Mm. Your overthinking makes you stay in this bubble. Like, my overthinking might cause me to literally be like, oh, shoot, well, I better not buy those shoes. But it doesn't stop me from actually still wanting to go to the shoe store, you know? But I think yours actually do stop you from, like, going to the shoe store. It does. Exactly. But me, I will still go with the intentions to not buy, you know, or not like that. But I will still go. And then when I get there, I let myself be like, okay, okay, get, uh, okay, you know? Hmm. And I figure it out there. But you don't even go to the shoe store. You don't even walk. You don't even do nothing. You just stay. Because I already thought it all through. I was like, okay, I buy the shoes. And I buy the shoes, exactly. and then I wear them a couple of times. They get messed up, wear down. Exactly. And then, I don't do that. I'm like, dang, I don't get those shoes. But then if I go to the shoe store and I find some shoes that I like, 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 and then I'll be like, hmm, now where do I wear them to? You know, so now I start creating stuff and yeah. places to go. You don't do that. You already kind of stay in the bubble. Yeah, elaborate on the bubble some more. Like, you know, I, I'm trying to um, follow you, like, you know, so... You stay in a bubble. Like my own imagination bubble. Yes. So you think everything through. You overthink the whole thing, and and it keep, keeps you just there in this bubble. Okay. And you never leave the bubble. You never leave the bubble because you already did, I did, it. did everything. Yeah. Yeah, so you just in a bubble. Like, <laughs> yeah. See, I have, like... My imagination is as good as my reality to me. You know what I mean? Because of all the emotions, the emotions and everything that I would feel from doing it, I can, I can like, fabricate it in myself. I can, like, simulate it. You know what I mean? I'm like, like, let's say that I thought about being with you. You know what I mean? If I thought about being with you and then, okay, I'm going to live a happy life and I'm going to do this. And it, it would have, I would overthink it to the point of, like, you know, so what if she leaves me and what's the point? What's the point of being with somebody for 20 years and then, you know, that mm -hmm. happens, you know, and then I wouldn't even want to be together. Like, I didn't overthink being with you. Like, I just kind of, like, went for it, you know what I mean? I just kind of yeah. went for it. But if I overthought it, and I probably would have never even... Um, Attempted. Nah, yeah. I wouldn't... Nothing. Exactly. I would have just, you know, went along with my life, you know what I mean? You, yeah. you know how I do. Like, um, I told you this before that pretty much, like, I'm like an introvert. Like, I keep to myself, you know, I have a lot of little stuff going on within myself. It sounds strange, I, but I do. Like, you know... Mm -hmm. I talk to myself and I um, come up with these plans and these ideas within myself and I kind of do them. I kind of sit right there and I kind of like, you know, do every case scenario that I can come up with that I can fabricate. You know what I mean? And then I see if, if it's even worth it, it's, if it's even worth it at all. It's like you turn down before you even get turned up. Most definitely. And that's what you do. Yeah. Exactly. That's what your thinking caused you to do. That's right. There's, it's no point. Like. It happened a couple of times, like when we went out of the country and stuff, you know what I mean? Uh, pretty much, I just didn't see the point. I'm like, oh, I'm happy with you, you know what I mean? We can go anywhere. We can be at home watching TV or uh, doing whatever. We don't have to really be out the country because of, I don't really get the point. Like, we're going to see things, but I can go online and see things. Like, I didn't really get it. Mm -hmm. But and then, you know, experience life with you actually, actually changed That's my perception. Ignorant. What you mean? How is it ignorant? I don't think that's overthinking. What do you mean? I think uh, over, like, you not wanting, you know, seeing the point. I don't really know. That's I, ignorance? To me. How so? Because you just was the type of person that you stick to what you know. And you was you're just, that's, <clears throat> that's just your personality. Like, that's just, just. So my personality is ignorance? No, but I'm saying your personality is 
sticking to what you know. Like you're not really a, a person that just wants to open your the variety, you know, your horizon to new things. So hmm. that I don't know if you overthought that, but I don't know. It could have been overthinking, I, but for me, I think overthinking is the fact of we about to go out the country. Mm-hmm. We not familiar. Mm-hmm. Do some research. Check the food. Make sure we got everything that we need. Check the crime rate. Do this. Do that. Da, 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 because that's something that we're not used to. Do all that. And then when you get there with all that information, make sure you're aware of all that stuff. You know, that's me overthinking. Yeah, see, see, I literally thought of, like, we go here, we do this, we we experience this, and then what after that? We're going to go back home, and then we're going to still live our regular life. And we're going to find a new place to go. Like, <laughs> the experience in my head was already, like, I, 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 simplif- I simplified the whole experience to going, coming back home, and then... And then that's the that's the result of overthinking. That's what I'm saying. Like you know how how is that ignorance if I actually really uh, put myself in that in that case scenario, and then and then because took myself that, back out of it because you said that you just thought that you already had me, so we didn't have to do nothing. You know, like we yeah. didn't have to go places because you already had me. So I'm just saying you're one of my just, main enjoyments. Yeah, but I'm just saying that's. That's just a lack of of understanding the world. Like you know, it's just under un, you didn't have a, a understanding of different places. That's preference, exactly. Like if so, well, preference not exactly. Ignorance. Yeah, because uh, let's say for example, like I like cars. I do. Like you know, regardless of my overthinkingness or whatever the story I just told you guys, I like cars. I do. But I understand that they're just big middle contraptions to to take you from here to there, faster transportation. I get that, you know what I mean. But and I'm still interested in it. But your preferences is not into vehicles, like you know. So I can call you ignorant from you in, not in vehicles. I definitely but that's just not your. Pre- but that's not just your. But pre- nor, that's just not your preference. But nor do I take the time to actually want to know. It's not your preference. So <laughs> if my preference is being around you, no matter what, whether you're here or there. And then, you know, that's okay. And if your preference is just you driving a vehicle that's going to get you here and then I'll have to be a high-end vehicle, that's a preference, not ignorance. You're, ig- you do, you're ignorant to vehicles. I get that. Yeah, I'm ignorant to travel. I haven't went everywhere in the world. I, I am. Yeah, but now so at the same time, it's preference. More, well, it makes your preference more strong because of you don't know what, you know, you don't know. Hmm. So you just stick to what you do know. Yeah, I do. Yeah. But and then okay, okay. That's literally I just think that know. overthinking is more of you thinking you're thinking you're over it's literally in the words that we're saying. You're thinking, but you're not just thinking about this. You're overthinking it. You're yes. thinking of like random random li- randomized uh case scenarios mm-hmm. and and um uh, um things happening. You have a list of what ifs pretty much. You yeah. have a list of not just one two what ifs. You know, you have a, a whole group of what ifs, and those what ifs cause you to. It affects your real life. Yes. It affects you in your real life uh, daily activity. Like, you know, that's overthinking, in my opinion. Like, you know. Well, I think it's. I, I agree. Okay. I agree with that. So, would overthinking actually be technically a bad thing? Only, I think, only if it affects, you know. If it affects others or yourself, but I mean, your type of overthinking, I don't know if it actually affects anybody more than yourself, to be honest, because it's all in your imagination. So I don't, you know, I'm not in there. Yeah, but see, see, I live this. So I would say that actually do affect um, um, other people because of people that I surround myself around, you know. Uh, uh, it probably causes less enjoyment. It, it affects them for the simple fact of, let's say, me overthinking about this vac- vacation that you wanted me and you to go to, you know, or this uh, out of the country or whatever. I didn't want to go anymore, so it affects you because now you don't have somebody that you wanted to go with you. You know what I mean? That's that's mm-hmm. like it probably don't affect you physically, um, um, but mentally, emotionally, it could affect you for sure. Yeah, it could. Yeah, overthinking could affect definitely. others. Yeah, others. Yeah. Well, I mean, I still think it's okay to overthink, though. Okay, I'm not. I'm not telling you not to <laughs> not to feel that way. I know, at all. but I just feel like it is okay. Okay, so I think overthinking opens up a new 
uh, a new element or something in your brain. Okay. You know, you got to, some people so can't So I'm think. an avatar then. I got, I got uh, earth, wind, and fire. I don't know, because some people can't think. Yeah. Some people can't think at all. So, I mean, I'm grateful well, you, to you, be You talk to a lot of people, so you would know that type of thing. Yeah. I'm, I mean, I'm grateful to be an overthinker. It may cause yourself a little bit more, you know, anxiety or something like that. But at the end of the day, you know, you just got to find balance. Okay. Balance in everything. You tell me that. <laughs> yeah. I either do it all or I don't do it at all. Like, well, I can't help it. I'm, I'm extreme. Well. Well, how many of y'all out there are overthinkers? Consider yourself overthinkers. Probably majority of us are overthinkers. You think so? Majority? You would go that far? Uh. Um, well, if you're, I can't even put it. Cause that's, okay, be so how about this? Shade. Just let us know. I'm going to put a poll up here for the people that's watching the video. For the podcasters, if you want to actually come and see the video and then be a part of that poll, go to YouTube talking to and you can uh be a part of that poll as well but um let us know if you're an overthinker because i'm i'm curious you know i mean she said majority of people is overthinkers like i don't know about that i i I would have to disagree with that i don't think well i mean they might not have to overthink about cars and traveling and stuff but they probably overthink about family illness sickness Mm -hmm. health well let us know we're curious money finances i mean Money and find that same thing. But yeah. All right. Well, if you like videos and podcasts like this, make sure you follow us and make sure that you leave a like, comment, and subscribe. But until next time, we are out. Deuces. Deuces.